Thank you, Chairman Hall. Uh, the hearing today is especially appropriate considering the upcoming NASA reauthorization and some of the recent bills we've passed, including the indemnification bill that so many on this committee uh, wanted, to, wanted to see and supported. As has already been expressed here by other members and our witnesses, I'm concerned with the vision for NASA going forward and the budget issues that are causing such grief in our short and long-term programs and missions. What are our long-term goals for NASA? How will we form a strategy that takes into account all NASA initiatives from space and earth sciences, human space exploration, and aeronautics to STEM education? The NRC report attempted to answer these questions and discuss some of the paths NASA could take. None of them will be easy, and our job will only become more difficult as budgets shrink. NASA, the administration, and Congress must do a better job of informing the American people about the important work NASA does and the overwhelming benefits our society reaps as a result. Maintaining our space leadership in the world is extremely important and is worth investing in. But we must not forget that an investment in NASA is also an investment in research and development for future technologies. NASA has a proven record and thousands of examples in the everyday technologies we simply could not live without in 2012. I'd like to remind everyone of the speech that President Kennedy gave at Rice University in 1962. He addressed the U.S. effort to put a man on the moon and used that famous line, and I'm paraphrasing, but Kennedy said, we did these things not because they are easy, but because they are hard. The questions we must answer and the choices that must be made are anything but easy. But like Kennedy, we should not shrink back from them simply because they are hard. Uh, NASA must step up to this challenge or it risks its legacy of success and leadership in space. Uh, that's not an outcome anyone in this room uh, wants to see happen. So I, pr I thank you all for sharing your comments um, with us today, and I believe I may have time for one question. So, uh, Ms. Blakey, uh, given the end of the shuttle program and the lack of a, strate a clear strategic direction, how does the uncertainty threaten our industrial base, and can you characterize the capabilities that are at risk? and perhaps even give us some examples. 